Okay, I wanna share with you some of my morning anchor routines. So we're talking about routines and how they're so grounding. And I do mine mostly in the morning because I find that's when I need the most grounding, the most setting the stage for how I'm going to do my day. You may have heard a lot about finding your why. I think going hand in hand with finding your why is finding your way. Finding your ways. What are the ways that you do you? What are the ways that serve you to do your own life? This is how education is empowerment because you get to choose. The, the ways that I'm going to show you, there might not be a single one that resonates with you and that's okay. Um, but there might be something in here that you decide to try and it becomes a tool in your toolbox to help you um, as you keep becoming more human in your life journey, which is way more than just school. And I would hope that school is like a piece of how you are becoming you. And I see my job as partly to offer you tools, like to put out kind of a whole table of tools and say, here's some of the ones that help me be more, become a better human and do my life well. These are my ways. So my ways are, I'm gonna show you this kind of basket. I actually just put this together. So the basket, I can pull it outside if I want in the morning, and it has different books that I use to help me center. This is probably my number one, the Book of Awakening, and it's just like daily, daily little things to think about, and then he gives you like an exercise. Mark Nepo is a cancer survivor, and I find that his work is so grounded and so wise because it has come through suffering. So uh, having everything, this is like I said, like the first time that I've actually put it all in a basket and that's really helpful to me to have it all in one place. Um, another one that I use is this, which looks like nothing, but it's a five-year gratitude journal, five-year diary. You can get these at Barnes & Noble. You can also look them up online. The fascinating thing with these, other than you can get to write like really small, is that it's five years on one page. So this has served me beyond what I could, would ever have expected. I take a little bit of time, usually at night for this one, to write down um, little things that happen in my day. And I cannot tell you how much synchronicity I have found it's crazy, it's stuff like, here's the most recent example. One year ago, two days ago, I was at Mishawaka listening to Trevor Hall. Well, then it's one year later, two days ago, and I go to a yoga class outside in the park, and the first song that she starts with is Trevor Hall. And that may not sound like a big deal, but to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, the universe is on my side. This is amazing. Like, how is it that I would be at a concert and then it was my very first time taking this yoga class and that she would start with the same artist who's one of my favorite musicians of all time. It helps me feel like I am on the path. So, the gratitude journal. So, so far I've shown you sort of the box or the, what is this, a basket of little um, books, some of it poetry, some devotionals um, that help me center and then the five-year gratitude journal. Okay, another one that I do is the moon journal. And there's different ones of these too, but this is the one I use. And I don't use all of the aspects of it. I use pieces. So yesterday was a new moon, and that's when this thing starts. And what it has you do uh, is and again, I, I want to qualify and say I'm 40 and I just started doing this. So I don't want you to watch this video and be like, oh my God, I have to do all these things to be like a good human. Absolutely not. I'm just laying out the table of tools. You get to take what serves you. So they'll have a blank like this for the new moon and you could draw in it, I choose to collage. So that was like my first one. I don't know what it means, but that's what happened. So I collaged in and sort of set intentions, like okay, this was December to January. What do I want for this you know, span of the lunar cycle? 
And then you can write in things you wanna call in or release. I hesitate to show you this one because you'd be like, ah! but she has all these little symbols and you can actually chart your whole day. I'm sorry, you can chart every day in, the, in here. You can chart like energy levels, when you went outside, when you had anxiety, when you interacted with nature. I stopped doing this because it was just too much for me. But the one that's the most interesting is this daily observation. It's different than, um, it's different than the gratitude journal for me in that it, gratitude is like more life events and this is more the arc of my emotional state. And then at the end of the month, you reflect and you release. So what I can tell you about this in a nutshell, and you know, there's a ton of writing about this, but when you set intentions, things open up and happen. So I use this tool to help me set really specific intentions and then I have watched them manifest in ways that feel kind of like magic. Um, yeah, and looking through this like, also, you know, another reason I love this in, in finding your ways is like I'm bearing witness to my own life. And when I become an observer of my life process, um, my intuition grows. And I don't know if I could offer you a more useful tool for how to become a better human than to get more in touch with your intuition and to come into your own voice. That will serve you, especially now, especially on the cusp of this new world order, especially in the face of a pandemic and in the face of um, racial revolution, um, to, to be able to use your voice and have that inner sense of um, of knowing is going to help you, I don't know, help you in every single, in every single way as an activist, as a lover of people, as a, um, as an advocate for justice, um, as a protector of the earth, as a student, as a lifelong learner in every relationship that you have. Um, I think it's something that school, do, you know, it's not in the curriculum, but I think it underlies all of the curriculum. Um, another thing I do, and you all have seen this with my sketchbook, is my sketchbooks is my sketchbook. So this one um, starts with a poem I wrote about when I tried to, I was on a road trip, and I tried to go to Starbucks because I felt like I deserved to have some coffee because I've been driving for like 11 hours. And I somehow got stuck in the Jimmy John's line, but like I had this faith in humanity that they were both things. Like I would pull up to the drive-thru and I could order like Jimmy John's or Starbucks, which doesn't happen. Um, and so I got stuck in the longest drive-thru line I have ever been in, just like, with, but somehow convinced myself like they're gonna tell me what to do and I'm sandwiched I was like getting like hyperventilating because I'm sandwiched between cars I can't go forward I can't go backwards like 25 minutes for the like the people three cars ahead of me to get their food and I'm like I'm like why didn't I leave when I had the chance and so I wrote this whole poem about like why I didn't leave when I had the chance um, and then it was my birthday very soon after and so I wrote down like all these birthday wishes that people had for me because I wanted to collect them and then you know then I pasted in the set list from the last concert I went to before COVID shut down live music and then I wrote a poem about our chicken who ended up becoming a rooster and how you know he he declared his identity on Independence Day and it was pretty funny so whatever it is goes in here and I've got a ton of these um, and I, you know, I said this in another video but when my house burned down after I found out that my dog had died and he wasn't gonna be rescued my second question was like are my journals um, burnt and they weren't and so I still have them which is amazing um, let's see if I have anything else I want to tell you. I think I also, you know, I use these as well to do kind of writing for myself, some of the intentional sketchbook writing with the archetype cards that I talk about in another video. 
I use these for a body-centered writing, which is an amazing practice to do even for five minutes in the morning, is to use like the mindful minute, kind of check in with your body, scan it, find out where it feels disconnected or in pain, and then write from that place, write as if you are that body part. So we'll explore that in another video, but I would say my main tools, the, the finding of my ways to become a better human are the box or the basket of my guides, the gratitude journal, Le Moon journal, and the black book journal. And um, that's all I'm gonna say.